Hi, Freya here. Um, in one of my previous videos about uh, choices and the process of choices, um, there's quite an important thing I wanted to add to that. So this video is again about choices and also um, why some choices feel bad and some choices feel good. Um, so the process of choice is um, that we have a feeling about something, uh, we identify that there's a preference, that we like some things more than others, so we make a choice, which is an action, and then we move. Because once we make choices, then there is um, a consequence, always. And that's always what we are afraid of as well, if we don't know the consequences or we think the consequence might be not feeling so good. So, why are there, you know, in my previous videos I said there are no bad choices, which is true. So you might say, okay Freya, oh my god, the sun is coming out. <laughs> okay Freya, so if there are no bad choices, why do some choices feel bad? afterwards. <laughs> the thing is the choices don't feel bad, it's what happens afterwards. So, okay, so if some feel good and some feel bad, they're obviously good and bad choices, which is not true. It's a belief because every choice is just a choice and some things seem to feel bad because, now I lost my train of thought, because I got distracted by the sun. Um, okay, yes, some choices that we've made in hindsight feel um, bad because there was growth, because we moved, because every time we make a choice, we change as a person, because the situation is not the same anymore. We're moving, which means we are not the same that we were before we moved. So, we make a choice, we move or we grow, and then at some point the choice, you know, we go, it gets us to, the act of choice gets us to a place we're supposed to be, and then, you know, we've moved, but once we moved, that choice might not be um, important anymore, because it's got us from one place to another. Genius! So, we are, if we're a different person, the choice might not feel any, you know, or what happened after the choice doesn't feel, might not feel any good anymore because it served its purpose. So when, when it starts bugging us or not feeling so good, it's actually just a push to say, make another choice. You need to keep on moving. I know, I keep on saying that, but it's true. Just keep on moving. Don't stay, because if you stay, there's more growth. So, if a choice feels good, you stay there. And if it's good for you, and it keeps on feeling good, then, yeah, by all means, fantastic. But we don't move because we're afraid of a, a, cho a choice having been... Oh, gosh. Oh, look. Yes, yes, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, you know, we... we if a choice is good and it feels good, we stay there. And that's great. But if a choice, don't be afraid to make choices because you don't want what comes after a certain choice <clears throat> to feel bad. But there's no bad choice. Once it feels bad, it's an indication that you're actually doing good. But you have to make more choices in order to feel even better, to feel good. It's just a push, because if we don't have the push, if there's, not, if there's not something that kicks us in the ass, we don't move. We're lazy buggers. So, if a choice you made doesn't feel good, don't be a victim and wallow in regret. And What if I had dated so-and-so over so-and-so? My life would have been better. Your life is exactly where it's supposed to be. Exactly. But if you go, if you look back and go like, oh, poor me, you know, then you give away the power, your power, the power to choose. So, 
invite the feeling that a choice might not feel any good anymore because it means you've gr it doesn't serve you anymore. So make another choice. It doesn't, you know, something feeling not good doesn't prove that there is good and bad. It just means that it doesn't serve you anymore at this point. So make another choice. The bad feeling is a good thing. It makes you move. So that's what I wanted to add. So have a nice day and see you soon.